You got to outlast three other people in this thing. Come on, Richard. Touch the ground. Touch Scott. Hey, hey, no filming. No filming the workouts here. No Scott. filming the workouts, Barnum. What? Listen. Hey, okay. no filming the workouts. You, you haven't been on our show yet. We want to see what you got. You're coming out of Burlington, North Carolina from the CWF. Who is this guy and what, what's he got to offer to Midnight Mayhem? All right, whoa, whoa, Nick. Take a break. 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 All right. I am out of Burlington. We come out of Burlington where Fatback Enterprises has been tag team champions multiple times. Held every championship that's been created. Back to work, Richards. Breaks over. Breaks over. Breaks over. Back to work. You're pushing and it too hard. Well, Midnight Mayhem is a big deal on the coast of North Carolina, and we didn't come here to be embarrassed. So when Nick Richards outlasts three other people in this match tonight because he's in the better shape, because he's been working, keep going, Richards, because he's been working on his cardio, because he's got his endurance up, when he outlasts and walks out the winner tonight, then you and everyone watching at home will know exactly what Brad Stutz, Nick Richards, and Fatback are about. We're about dedication, conditioning, heart, determination. What? <laughs> There you go. There you go. He's done enough work for right now. We're going to have to ask you to shut this thing down. We're not done getting ready yet. I'll do the rest of my talking, and the kid, cough it up, cough it up, will do the rest of his talking out there. Oh, my. Broke the table in half. No, I will do. <laughs> Look at that, you only get that in a live event. Oh, devastating suplex. Folks, this could be Bedlam here in the arena. Oh my god! Close your eyes, mothers, send your children to their rooms. Welcome to Midnight Mayhem, a fatal four-way for the ACPW television title. Brock Knox, we've got four people in the ring. It is going to be Bedlam all night here on Midnight Mayhem. I am not going to be able to keep up. I hope Brock will. Brock, what, what do you got here? we got Richards. We've got Shane Martin. We've got AJ Stone. We've got Sean Cruz, a partridge in a pear tree. We have got everything tonight and brad studs hey you're really doing aaron you know sometimes you, you catch me sleeping over here on on ringside but i can definitely tell you tonight that's not gonna happen with all this action going on in the ring he's gonna see the two guys going by oh reversing it nick richards and shane martin with a big head-on collision right there aj stone and sean cruz the perpetrators of that collision aj stone a man who may not be the biggest one here on Midnight Mayhem, Sean Cruz is actually Sean Cruz is bigger than AJ Stone, which is which is a big deal here on Midnight Mayhem. Usually, Sean is the smaller, but it, you know what? They all have big hearts. They do, they do, and you see them right now. They're teaming up. It, it wasn't a tag team match, oh, but uh, I. It looked like Shane Martin just sit Nick Richards in, but AJ Stone said, "You know what? Even if you're not coming out, Shane." I'm gonna go out and get you myself. Yeah, he definitely did. He's just going right over the ropes right now, and it right in the ring got some magic going on. Paul oh, Richards knocking out of both. Two birds, one stone, and the stone is Richards, my friend. Fantastic move. I believe it was one bird knocking out AJ Stone right there. How, how about that? You like you like that turn of a turn of a word? That was Brock you Knox. Are a Look at Sean shit. Cruz. Sean Cruz is getting up top. Sean Cruz going. And Sean Cruz with that suicide dive right there, folks. This is, is true bedlam here on Midnight Mayhem. Four people, bodies strewn everywhere, folks. We're going to have to call the coroner here in a second. Brad Stutz making sure that his man, his pride and joy right there, the man of Fatback Enterprises, Nick Richards, his investment is safe and hopefully is going to win that ACPW television title. Uh, you know, he was back there, you know, really training him hard right now, and uh, it might be a little winded if you ask me. And, uh, you know, you see everybody's winded right now after those, uh, those big jumps off, the, off the, the ring right there. Oh, my goodness, look at him. 
Just giving the elbows right to the face. Dropping them like a stone. Shane Martin feeling the wrath of AJ Stone right there. AJ Stone going for the bulldog. And Shane Martin down, but it looks like Nick Richards got him with a clothesline as soon as he hit the mat, folks. I, oh, with a quick cover, one, two. Oh, man. And, and, you know, there is one pinfall in this match. One pinfall. Any of these four men pin one of the other of the four men. We've got a new television champion right here. So you, what you're telling me is that there only can be one. Uh, right. This is the Highlander of professional wrestling matches here, folks. Oh, oh look at Shane Martin just dumping Sean Cruz out to dry. And here comes AJ Stone. And Nick Richards said, nah. Psych. Not, not me today, my friend. He just did the okie doke on a one quick cover again. Richards not, uh, AJ Stone's not done. Not, not done at all, folks. You would think that AJ Stone, but we're, we're saying this earlier. AJ Stone, he, he doesn't have a heart. What is Sean Cruz doing? Pushing Richards out of the way. Or, excuse me, pushing Stone out of the way and then getting a big boot from the two men. Yeah, it does. It looks like uh, the Cruz missile was trying to save Stone from his, uh, his uh, battery that he was about to get, but he got it himself, to be honest with you. And oh, look at that. Man. Right into the post. <laughs> Sean Cruz feeling that. It looks like Sean Cruz has got a black eye as well. Folks, th this is one of the most confusing things I've ever seen in my life because it is just action everywhere. We don't know where to watch. We don't know what's going on, folks. It looks like AJ Stone is going to get that television championship, folks. Uh, uh, Shane Martin is in here knocking out AJ Stone. A tisket, a tasket, cats and dogs living together. It's it's amazing right now. You see these guys, uh, you know, just uh, out here and prowling right now. But, you know, what they have to keep an eye on is the biggest man of them all prowling right outside the ring because, you know, he's got a trick up his sleeve. Look at him just, just, you know, looking right there. Peeping Tom, it looks like. Brad Stutz, the kingpin. If you've ever watched Daredevil, if you ever read the comic book, his uh, William Fisk... The, uh, the, the main villain of Daredevil, a big man, but he has a great mind for warfare. And that's Brad Stutz right there. You, we saw earlier tonight Brad Stutz training Nick Richards on how to be a man in that ring and how to outlast his opponents. What is he doing? Just scraping the back of AJ Stone. What, it looks like he's licking his fingers. What kind of man is that? I think the man is a vampire. It's, uh, you, don't, you don't go scratching a man on the back and then licking your fingers. It's just not right. It's you, just not right. You don't pull on Superman's cape. You don't spit in the wind. And you don't lick your fingers after you scrape somebody's back, folks. That is just... We, we've seen it a lot recently. This could be another sign of that zombie apocalypse. We need to check him for bath salts. You do. We do right now. And it's it's just not it's not good when, when you see somebody that you know. Oh, just he's doing it again. Oh, goodness gracious. Stone is feeling it. Don't, don't put it in your mouth. Don't. Uh, he did. Nick Richards, a vicious, vicious man licking his fingers. It's just disgusting. It's, it's, it's disrespectful and disgusting right now. He's going for the quick cover. Oh, but... Get pushed off. Shane Martin and Nick Richards fighting on who should win this. Brad Stutz eating it up. It looks like he's been eating a lot up recently. Brad Stutz is the man watching with that big eye, just making sure his man, his investment, Nick Richards, is going to win that title. Uh, you see right now, there's a lot of people who got chances to win this title right here. Slapping off the hands of AJ Stone right there because he can't have the ropes. You know, you don't have the ropes. Uh, you can get covered. I don't know how uh, referee Braswell, or that's not referee Braswell, excuse me. I don't understand how the referee is able to keep uh, whatever's going on in the ring. We've got four people. We need more than one referee in this matchup. Ah, oh, we definitely do right now, and uh, it's just it's it's crazy right now. You see the just the swings coming left and right. Who's who's hitting who? Who's stroking who? Because right now, it's it's anybody's game. The two pink men right there, because real men wear pink. Nick Richards, Shane Martin ganging up on the big man right there. AJ Stone, both picking him up right there. And it looks like for a suplex and AJ Stone with the double DDT reversal right there. Nice move, Stone. Some way, somehow, AJ Stone really, he, he got out of that. And, and I didn't think it was possible, but the, the little guy is uh, showing he's got some big moves and uh, showing that he can handle, you know, someone a little bit, a little bit bigger than him. Sean. Sean Cruz picking his spot right here. Very smart move. Let the other guys do all the work and then pick your spot, come in there and capitalize. Sean Cruz taking on Shane Martin right here. Shane Martin getting tossed right there. 
And folks, it looks like AJ Stone is kicking Nick Richards out, but Brad Stutz trying to put him back in the ring. Got caught that time, you know, the ref for a ref. He doesn't have eyes in the back of his head, but he can see that one big man going all around it all. Who's going for a ride right there? That's amazing. Go with a quick cover. Oh, and Sean Cruz, look at that. AJ Stone, Sean Cruz. And you know what, man? They may be good friends, but Sean Cruz and AJ both know that what's on the line is that ACPW television title, folks. And if you have a title around your waist, that's a big deal. Look at that. My God. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, you don't, you see, oh, we got the cover right now. Oh, AJ Stone. I, I thought that was over. Quick count. Sean Cruz making sure that he doesn't get another quick count right there. Sean Cruz taking it to AJ Stone. AJ Stone feeling a little woozy right now. Sean Cruz taking him up top. Folks. Oh, this can't, this does not look good for AJ Stone at all. Not one bit. Sean Cruz known for his flashy moves. AJ Stone known for his flashy moves. These two men not known for anything right now because they are down and out. Sean Cruz getting dumped to the floor by AJ Stone. AJ Stone going up. Oh. Was, uh, I don't know, did that connect? It looked like it might have, but I don't know how stoned he's got his, his hands right there. He's going down for the ride. Oh, my goodness. Sean Cruz with devastation right there. One, two, three, folks. Sean Cruz is your winner. Ding, ding. Uh, the stone is dead. We, Sorcerer Stone is, is killed right now. Welcome back to Midnight Mayhem. Danny Dollar being led to the ring by Brad Stutz. Not only do we get Brad Stutz once tonight, we get Brad Stutz twice in one evening, folks. I don't know if it's an honor or uh, it, it, I'm sorry that you're watching this, but folks, Brad Stutz is a man that is taking another man. You've got the looks up front with Nick Richards, and then you've got the, the man with the money right there, Danny Dollars. Danny Dollars is, is quite the guy, the IRS man, coming to steal everyone's money, lunch money, paper money, anything. I, I heard cold cash D does not want anything with him. You no, know, when, you, when you get paid in cash, it, does, it, it makes dollars and cents, but it doesn't make uh, for uh, receipts, if you know what I mean. Folks, we have got this matchup coming up, and it will be a doozy. Him against Dave Dawson. That, that is a tough judgment laid down by Brad Stutz on Nick Richards. It looks like the other man, Danny Dollars, all about business. I don't think that's going to affect him if he is uh, ruled to be celibate for the next six months. I don't think it will at all. And uh, you know what? Who's Who's got business right now is the big man, Mr. Dawson. And he is going to go to town. You see him right there. Just... Oh, if, if you are afraid of, of either of these Dawsons, you're... You're just silly. No, no, no. Dave Dawson has got three men. It's one against three. Now, we've seen this before when Dave Dawson had to take on Joey Sylvia, Bobby Wolford, and R.J. Brewer because his brother, Zane Dawson, left him in the middle of the ring, and he did pretty darn good against those three folks. It looks like he might have the odds a little bit more even right here. But I, I'm still putting my money on Dave in this one. Uh, you, you definitely have to. I mean, he's a favorite here. Uh, but, you know, you've got these guys, two of them now. I, I mean, Stutz is, is a huge man in himself, but you've got Richards out there. He's got some experience. And uh, But you see Dave, he's, he's got the crowd on his side. And, uh, you know, when it when it all it takes, you watch the NBA Finals, 
When you got the crowd on your side, you got the momentum. We, we, we've got Dave Dawson in the ring coming off. He may be coming off an L on our show, but that L is against the best wrestler in all of professional wrestling, Casey McKnight. Nah, here we go. I, just listen to me here. Casey McKnight was his last match, and we haven't seen Casey lose on our show in a very long time. Well, I guess against Zane Dawson, excuse me. His bro. Uh, yeah, we uh, forget about that conveniently, Hal. I, I'm sorry, because it was a fluke win, and it was a bad count by the ref. Tying up Dave Dawson, pushing dollars to the corner. Now, it looks like, you, you know, we, we see Dave Dawson usually take on men that are a little bit smaller than him. This is more of an even matchup for Dave. Uh, you see both guys. I think uh, the the money man might be a little taller than Dave right now. Look, let, let's take a look. Let's get what's the tail of the tape here. I, I don't have a tail of the tape, but I can tell you this. Dave Dawson is about a mile and a half tall, and Danny Dollars maybe a mile and three corners. But the thing is, they are both humongous men here on Midnight Mayhem. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, but you see Dave uh, light on his feet right there, but he's not having it. Not having it at all. Danny Dollars not very playful in that ring. Looks like Danny Dollars is all about getting a W, making money, kind of like another wrestler we have on our show, Cold Cash D. Uh, definitely. Cold Cash D is always a fan favorite, and uh, when he's getting in, it's all about the, the the title or whatever match or whatever man stands in his way. He, he won't be standing there for long. Dave Dawson taking him over by his arm. Danny Dollars reaching for Brad Stutz, Nick Richards, anybody. That'll, and look at this, Dave Dawson just, just getting the crowd into it by clapping his hands. Uh, excuse me, clapping Danny Dollar's hands. Oh, Danny Dollar right now. You see these two big guys just uh, wrestling at it, and I haven't seen these two big of people wrestling since uh, your girlfriend and her mother uh, got on the same place uh, at one time. See, there you went a step too far. You can talk about my girlfriend, but if my girlfriend hears you talking about her mother then I, I'm i going to be having a role of celibacy for the next six months. <laughs> oh, it's, it's all I'm good for. That's all. Dave Dawson coming off the apron straight onto Danny Dollars, and Dave Dawson is wearing uh, He is getting a uh, smack in the chair. I mean, that's not going to be good on your hands. I mean, you ever smack a chair? No, because it's not very smart. Because he's getting some momentum behind him. Once you get that, that blood flowing, folks, you get really excited. Dave Dawson going after Brad Stutz, but Danny Dollars able to stop him right there and just slam his head against the post. Dave Dawson is eating pole right now because he just smacked it right on his face. I think his upper lip is bleeding. Just somebody check him right now. That big beard was no uh, no cushion for that pole right there. Danny Dollars stopping that 10 count by the, the referee right there. Dave Dawson trying to gather his wits about him. And Dollars back on the offensive right here. Folks, this is, uh, I have not seen Dave struggle like this before. Uh, he's struggling because uh, he had everything on his side and then he goes out of the side of the ring and then that's when it all goes downhill. Danny Dollars, and, and the thing is, I think that's gonna be the turning point of this matchup. Dollars is paying too much attention to the fans and not enough attention to that pit bull, that, that big Great Dane in the ring. Uh, he is quite a uh, big man, but when you gotta fight three other men, uh, it's it's not it's not a fair fight. I mean, you, you can be as big as you want, but when you got a gang on you, it's not a fair fight. Nick Richards watching, making sure Dollars and Fatback Enterprises get their first W here on Midnight Mayhem. Zane Dawson with a flurry of offense, giving him some forearm shivers, but Danny Dollars stops it. Poke him in the eye. With that eye poke right there and a big boot as the exclamation point. That Dave Dawson just went down in a hurry, my friends, and you do not do that uh, in any slight matter. That was something else. Got the cover right now. One, two, oh! That was close. Two count. Folks, let me let me say something real quick. We have got a great crowd here in Keenansville. Hey, hey, it's something else. A beautiful crowd. Everybody is hot tonight. We are ready to watch some good wrestling, and folks, we have got a slobber knocker of a match. Excuse me, JR. A slobber knocker. There we go, and Nick Richards right there. What what is going on here? Yeah, uh, hey, you see, uh, you, they're dirty. What's their name? Fatbacks. Fatback Enterprises. Fatbacks because they're going behind your back and, and they're doing some shady business. That's what it looks like. Nick Richards was able to get that cheap shot in. The referee not able to see it. Braswell. What is going on here? You should be able to see this when it happens, Braswell. And look, it's happening again. 
All the time. I mean, uh, and, and we can't see it because Studs is in the way. Uh, that's that man is huge. Who? Uh, good night. I've seen the Kool Aid. Uh, that this man is Kool Aid in person. And th and there you go. And Richards right here explaining that he was just wiping off his sweat. He was being very nice to Dave Dawson. I I don't believe in one second. That was very sweet of him. I didn't I didn't realize what exactly he was doing because the big guy was in the way. If they say if that's what he was doing, he's got the towel there. Of course, yeah, so he's wiping off his sweat. Uh-oh, big men going up top, folks. This is never a good sign in a matchup. Dollars uh, uh, putting Dawson up top. The two Ds fighting it out like the behemoth that they are. Yeah, when these guys hit the ground, I hope you're uh, holding on to something steady because the ground is going to shake for sure. And uh, you see Dave, he's holding them to something steady right now. He's got the ropes, and uh, he's not going anywhere. Look at that, firmly anchoring himself down dollars. I'm sure he's used to being able to throw people around, but folks, you have got a Dawson right there. And, and you see Dave Dawson taking him out with that big back elbow. Ah, oh, man, Dave just came down in a hurry. And, and who was on the other end? My friend right there, he got the cover. Two count again, this is some kind of match. Folks, you have got Dawson against Dollar. Dollar against Dawson. Dollar taking Dawson for the ride right there with a big body slam, and he's going off the ropes. Oh! A guillotine leg drop, and folks, it is over. Two, three. Wait a minute. Dave Dawson's got something left in the tank, and, and he's showing us right now that uh, he's going to have to do a lot more than a, a guillotine leg drop to, to take him out. Now he's choking him. Now he, he doesn't even care about that. He is just trying to get any kind of cheap shot in he can to get that W. He's going back up top. Now, I think he might be going to the well a little bit too much, folks. Uh, he's not going to the well because the first time he went to the well, he didn't even get any water. So uh, he's going to the well again, and uh, we'll see what happens this time. And there he goes. Going for that leg drop. Dave Dawson, not as smart as, uh, or not as dumb as he looks. And Dave Dawson able to capitalize with a few left hands right there. And oh, just chopping him down with that axe hand. It looked like a combo hand. Is that what it's called? Combo hand, what's uh, that? An mean? axe handle. I, I like the way you say it. The way I say it, it's not as, as uh, professional. Fantastic. No, I, I have no clue what you're talking about. Big back body drop. And one, two, two. And dollars still in this matchup. Oh, uh, man, it's just something else. It looks like the, the pants of the Dave Dawson. He, it's been tailored a little bit. I don't know if you saw that earlier. No, I wasn't looking. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dawson with a big drop kick, dollars. Feeling the pain right there. Folks, I, I think we're going to have to measure this match with a Richter scale instead of a regular referee. The referee diving over. And his hand. Dollar's got the ropes. Oh, he's got some help, too, I think. Uh, I believe. Did I just see Stutz grab the foot of Dollar's and put it on the rope? I, I think you saw right. I mean, there's no hiding that. I mean, you, when that big guy moves, there's uh, if there's nothing behind him. Uh, Oh, Dollar with a big pump handle slam, and both men exhausted. Here, Richards, toweling, toweling off Dollar's head, making sure that he's still fresh enough to get that pin count and the W for Fatback Enterprises. Uh, it's the first time Dollar's been on the show, and I can tell you right now, the, the man looks really, really winded. I mean, I don't know uh, if, 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 you know, the big guy's just getting Richards in shape and not Dollar, because uh, Dollar looks winded. He looks like he's uh, rough, and who... Well, so does Dave Dawson. I mean, that's the thing. Both of these men are two big guys. You're not expecting a marathon out of these men. You're expecting a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of matchup. Dave Dawson off the rope, taking a, a ooh, big double clothesline by the two. Oh, and both men are down and out, and this does not look good at all. It's just... Just like two heap of men just, just laying out there. Look at the ref in here. What's going on? And here comes on? Richards. What is Richards doing? Richards has got his jeans on. He's in his ci his civilian clothes right now, ready to take on a Dawson. And, and uh, the ref is, uh, is is being tangled up by Brad Stutt somehow. It's it's not even it's not even sort of fair. I mean, this what's going on? I Dave Dawson able to get that maneuver in right there, folks. This may be it. This may be it, but you got the ref. He's he a little distracted. He goes back in. One, one two. two. Oh, this is over. Three men against one, and 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 Big Dawson is victorious. Fatback Enterprises, 0 oh, and two for the night, folks. Thank you for watching. Find us on Facebook, and we'll see you next week. Oh my! Broke the table in half. No, I will tell. <laughs>
Alright. Oh, this could be Bedlam here in the arena. Oh my god! Close your eyes. Mothers, send your children to their rooms. 